Grady again trying to blow through. Kavanagh has got a chance now surely to shoot. Deflection again and Ludim can keep it in. He's going to have to cross it. He's got no help. Oh, missed at the near post. But it's in and I think it's Blake who's got it. 1-0 well deserved really. OK, free kick now. So Grady to take it. Left footed after he was dragged down. Yet another booking. Well, Grady's gone for goal. He's fumbled it in and it's 1 1. Joshua Grady is the key commentary in this position. Into the top corner. Good penalty. Coleman to O'Grady. O'Grady. Go on, go on, Takes on one defender, good go skill, and he's still got the ball. Oh, very nice football there. And he's fouled. Thrown out to Coventry. Desperation time. O'Grady, he's done well, he's got past his man. Goes towards the, the byline, and that's got to be a penalty. And it is unbelievable. I can smell the bubbly as well. And here we are at Sutton United, and uh, great gesture by the home team. Applauding the champions of Midland League Division 2. Coventry United, that's a really nice touch. Now then, here's the free kick to Coventry. And it's O'Grady, he scores! <laughs> now here we go with... Uh, Coventry United and they will come and collect their winners medals. John Kavanagh, Ben Valance, Rob Frenzel and the others. Here they come, one after the other. Joe Connor, special moment for him. Apparently his last game for the club. Josh O'Grady just taken his medal. Pierre Moody never stopped running. Martin Hutchcock's injured but scored with a great long free kick. Giff Musser, Leon Kelly, Brian and Love who missed that late penalty and Mr Sufo, 109 years old, goodness me. And here comes Kobe now to receive his medal and I think possibly to receive the cup as well. And here he goes, there's a little bit of uh, stuff happening over here but Kobe and team takes the cup. A fair bit of champagne flying around, I can smell it from here. Chris Cox, although he was sent off, enjoying holding on to that cup. Brian and Love to Gilbert. Pull back, goes right towards O'Grady. O'Grady about to cut inside, he's done really well, cuts inside two players there he has a man square and that's Gilbert Gilbert now rushing forward, out it goes to O'Grady again O'Grady beats his man again turns on the ball, there's Kavanagh but it's O'Grady, surely he must score, oh it's been kicked off the line Taken to Coleman, Coleman to Valance. Valance making ground. He's got Unduna on his left and he's played it through beautifully to Unduna. Unduna is tackled. Clips it inside to O'Grady. O'Grady turning and it's in! Fine finish!
Yeah. Well, the players, I think, appreciate the support they've had. There's Edwin in the middle of that lot. Well done, everybody. Richard Norris, Pretty fine great. gaming well goal for him. Hey, Josh. Well done, Richard. They did very well. Oh, what a performance. Charlie. Hinkley nil. Coventry United four. Oh, by the Corey O'Grady. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Free kick taken quickly by O'Grady to Mudim. Mudim's cross takes a bit of a touch, I think. That's well in by Gift Musa to O'Grady. O'Grady tries another shot! From home to Hinkley. And the players must be so proud of themselves. Well Bray doing well yet again, but uh, Cox completely just hammered away. Kelly trying to control it. Dakuri. Gift Musa, Gift Musa placing the way to Grady. Grady. It's gone in unbelievably. He's just pushed it against the far post and it's rolled in. 2 1. Great head on by Kelly. O'Grady's gone on to a little chip to the far post. Oh, and it's hit the it's hit the goal frame. Ball played through to Blake. Inside goes O'Grady. What a shot! And that's hit the bar. Long ball played through and Blake has a great chance there. He's got a man with him. It's O'Grady. He must score. And he's converted it without any problem. Blake to O'Grady that time. And a great ball from the back by Callum Burgess. Free kick to Coventry after O'Grady was tripped at the edge of the penalty area. He tried to take the free kick very, very quickly. And it struck a home player's arm, but the referee decided that... Uh, he wasn't ready. Defensive wall is back just about 10 yards and O'Grady's going to shoot. Needs to get this on target. Moudin comes to help out. There's the curled shot and it's in the corner and it's 5-1. Flicks it inside, but uh, that's going to be cleared by Cox. Long it goes, nodded into the air. Blake jumps. It's a good ball that time, and uh, Connor Farrell's gone onto that. It's the line, good cross. O'Grady, O'Grady now onto his left foot and in it goes and it's 4-1. Looks like Charlie Cook is going to take this free kick now for Coventry and uh, we're getting so close to the end of this game and it looks like Leicester Road might just hang on. There's the shot, it's done, and it's gone in, it's one each, and it's Charlie Cook who's got it, 1-1. One, one. Here's the corner now for O'Grady to take, everybody back for the hosts now, every single player in his own penalty box. Dangerous, goalkeeper's got a touch on it, oh it must be there, oh it's kicked off the line and up into the air and the goalkeeper punches it out. To Farrell, Farrell slams it. It's, it's gone in. It's a goal. Unbelievable. <laughs> and it's uh, O'Grady to take the penalty now for Coventry. Great penalty, right corner, two one. 
goalkeeper now getting the ball out. The home side need to hit this ball down the field. Stout heads it forward towards Anduna. Now Anduna, what a chance he's got. He's got O'Grady with him. Squares it and O'Grady puts it in. It's 3-1. How unselfish of Muzzy Anduna. Again, Valence has got to cover it, but Coleman does it very neatly too. Galvin knocks it inside, but Sainz having to chase the ball. Brockton being harried. And they've actually lost the ball. Rickus to O'Grady. Untidy end to the half here. O'Grady dribbling his way to the edge of the penalty area. Square. Galdins could have had a shot there, but didn't. Back inside to O'Grady. O'Grady, nice feet. But that's been given away. Back out to Coleman. Coleman has a bit of space here. Kelly hasn't really been used in the air by Coventry at all so far. Rickus. Burgess, Burgess to Prinzel again. Little clip forward to Kelly. Kelly. Traps it on his chest, out it goes to O'Grady along the, the byline, over it comes and it's gone in, off the goalkeeper, it's 1-0. Free kick for Coventry, Brown getting in on that but the ball's been cleared and there's a shot left foot in and it's in! It's a really good goal! And it's just O'Grady who's put that third goal in. At last, a shot at goal from distance. 3 1 Coventry. Brady to Pierre Moody, who moves in on the right hand side of the area. Into the middle, O'Grady. It's seven. Selfish of uh, Moudin to get it into the middle there. And it was uh, easily put in by Josh O'Grady for his second of the night. The ball has been played through to Matt Brown. Now he's got a good chance. He's closing in on goal. There's a shot right footed. And it's Josh O'Grady. And it's 2 0. finish after Matt Brown made the break onside. Coventry needed that second goal. Moudin getting towards the byline, gets it inside towards O'Grady. Good skill by O'Grady. Left foot! And it's 1-0! Come on, United! 1-0 to Coventry and good skills by Josh O'Grady and very casually sucking the ball past the keeper into that left-hand corner. Good finish. <laughs> Free kick now to Coventry. It's about uh, 27 yards, I would say, and uh, Josh O'Grady is over this. There is a, a wall of about three or four. And he shoots towards the corner, and it's in. A really fine free kick there by Josh O'Grady, and it's 2-0. A very expensive free kick given away there by the home skipper. And that's a really good finish. Free kick taken by Morris and uh, that's gone all the way through. There's a chance now at the right hand post. Over it comes. Oh goodness, the goalkeeper has knocked it out and the ball's struck O'Grady and bounced into the net and it's 3-0. A very strange and very fortunate goal but I suppose they all account in the end. 3-0. O'Grady gets the free kick and uh, he screamed for it as McCullough stood behind him, but um, hmm. now Pierre Moudim is completely by himself on the right hand side, but I'm sure O'Grady's going to maybe shoot here or try to get the ball towards possibly his skipper Cox, but Blythe is also dangerous in these situations. Pilkington, a three-man wall. And uh, O'Grady's left foot is about to uh, strike this ball and strikes it a goal and it's in! 
the goalkeeper's left it completely and utterly and it's 1-0 to Coventry and that is quite a remarkable shot it certainly had some swerve on it and uh, the goalkeeper will be extremely disappointed as he walks back towards his goal and Coventry lead and that's just what they needed Josh O'Grady and there they go again O'Grady's here, O'Grady takes it quickly, and it's gone in, off the post, the goalkeeper didn't even move, and uh, it's taken quickly, and Coventry are on their way, really good finish, constantly completely short. And that's going to be one of three Coventry players who jump to get it away. It was Cox, in fact, and Briscoe turns to himself. And there's the ball played left, and Brown now must have a chance. He's in on goal. He's beaten the man. He tries to play it, can't do it. O'Grady should score, and does score. And it's 3-0. Spreading it in towards the edge of the penalty area and gets a left foot shot beaten out by the keeper. There must be a chance and it's there! And it's Josh O'Grady who's got it after the keeper made a superb save from Cox's shot I think it was. And Coventry have got the goal they needed.